Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to record a voiceover for your video using Adobe Premiere Rush CC. Okay, so you've shot some great video. Here's a project I'm working on in Rush. And uh, yeah, it's just me on a ferry leaving the Isle of Wight, but I'd quite like to add a voiceover, some narration. So how to do this? Well, first of all, um, we can hardly see the waveforms here and I wanna work with audio in Rush. So click this button down here, expand audio. Your audio tracks will get bigger. You'll see them all intelligently labeled. And I wanna add in my voiceover now. First thing you need to do before recording anything in Premiere Rush CC is go into the preferences menu. Uh, here on a Mac, it's in Preferences just here under the Premiere Rush CC menu. And uh, very simple preferences, uh, but as you can see, my built-in uh, microphone is currently my audio input. I do not want that. It's not going to sound good. Uh, so I'm going to click it over to something else, like, for instance, my live stream audio. I know that's uh, running through my mixing board, so it's going to sound good. It's going to be this mic I'm talking into here. Click OK, and now any voiceover I record uh, is running through the correct audio device, and I'm not getting internal mic stuff, which wouldn't be good. With that done, I now go up into the plus button, top left, click voiceover. I want to add a voiceover. What this does is enables a record button on a secondary track inside Rush, and then I can tap to record. It's going to give me three beeps, a countdown, three, two, one, and then I start recording my voiceover. So let's do it. Stand by. Here I am on a White Link ferry, leaving the Isle of Wight, heading for the mainland in the United Kingdom. What a wonderful trip this is, and a wonderful ferry this is too. Okay, there's my voiceover. As you can see, Rush has picked it up as a voice by adding the little person icon uh, with a, <laughs> a sign that something's uh, coming out of their, their face. So to zoom in, I'm just uh, putting my mouse here on the, uh, the scroll area, and I'm just moving the scroll wheel so I can see. Let's play this back. So click the play button. It might take a little time to render. Here I am on a White Lake Ferry leaving the Isle of Wight. So you can hear that. It's a little bit quiet, so I can go in. I can double click this. It'll bring up the audio box here. You can also do that by clicking the audio icon over here. And I can turn this clip volume up so you can really hear it. Let's listen. Here I am on a White Lake Ferry leaving the Isle of Wight, heading for the mainland. And then if I want to, I can double click this audio here, which is the audio of the ferry, and I can turn that clip volume down so the sound of the ferry is not overpowering my voiceover. Here I am on a White Link ferry leaving the Isle of Wight. But that's not all. There are further enhancements you can do to your voiceover, and I'll show you this in another video where I go in depth as to how all the audio features of Adobe Premiere Rush CC work. Stick around and watch that, but let me know how you get on with recording your own voiceovers into Adobe Premiere Rush CC in the comments below this video.